back. My motor just cut me hand again in greenhouse. Right, my shelves have turned up. So they're all right. They cost me 30 quid for two. So they're okay. And then my Astro Tuff's turned up. That cost me 22 quid, I think. A metre by three metres. Something like that. And then I got this off your friendly neighbourhood guru up the allotment. It's like a waterproof membrane. And then under that, I've got a load of cardboard. So that's well down there, that uh, floor. I've got my two eaters as well. So now I'm going to get my Astro Tuff down, put it down this side, roll it out, put that over here, roll it out, cut it, and then Bob's your uncle. So we'll get that Astro Tuff down. Boom, what's that took? About an hour. So there you are, they're in. Floor's in. And uh, I've just got a door shut because I'm trying to get that heat in now because I've got them two heaters in. Yeah, let's go in. I'll mess about. That's my step. So there you go, floor's in. Them shelves just fit perfect, there are two of them. So there must be three foot each because it's six foot this. So I've loads of room now for some more stuff. Got all my potting stuff down there. And the potting bench there, so melting. I've just given them a good water from bottom. So I'll shut this door now. And I'll show you the gun. But that was on uh, that was on 15 when I come on. Straighten that step. Well I fix that step down from the guns. Some up a lot and some black stuff. I'll stick it down with that. Yeah, so we got that then, don't we? Looks like a proper greenhouse now. Belting. Now, uh, Brew Town. Yeah, it's been about half an hour now. It's 13.5 degrees under here, but it's pretty warm under here. You get the heat out of the ice on that wall. It's like a thermal block that wall because it's south facing. So what's this gone up to? That's on 12 pound fast, so it's one degree lower in there, but it's only eight degrees outside. I've just looked at weather here. So it's four and a half degrees higher in there, so I can keep that up tonight to over ten. Be happy because we're only small little eaters then, but uh, that floor's insulated now, so there's no heat should get out of there. There's a couple of gaps with glass, but I've left them because uh, I've not got that lifting window in yet. I what I've put that in this week. But, uh, I'm always here for opening that door anyway. Most of the day times, I'm home at one o'clock, so. We'll see, I'll get it in anyway, but there you go, in the road. Planting some spuds tomorrow up a lot and getting some of buckets, so see you in the morning with Henry. Boom, back. Freezing. Not in there though. Nice and warm in here. Pea planting there. Yeah, Inspector Gadget. Uh, four we're doing. I've dug four out from back at shed. So we'll do four, so two either side of this frame. There's a slide straight out of that uh, gutter. So we'll put two either side and that'll be full then. So got some compost from the shop. I won't do them on here. Uh, uh, carrots are three. Dirt. Dirt. These are a bit later, but when do we plant these? Yeah. Got to remember 22nd of the 2nd. What, what date are we today? 
14, so about three weeks then. Three weeks, yeah. Excuse me, coffee. Yeah. So we're belting. So we'll get them filled with uh, compost. compost and get some pays in. Because to uh, Tony, I didn't say Tony then. <laughs> Because we've just been watching this video with Top Tip Terra. Um, Henry's soap from peas. A box of dried peas. So they're all spread in there, can you see? So we'll plant them. So. It's <laughs> lovely. Speedy Gonzales. <laughs> <laughs> That's your nickname, man. <laughs> Mexican git. <laughs> uh, right, what we're putting in this, right, peas are hungry, <laughs> so, Henry doesn't like peas being hungry, <laughs> so he's got to put some of this in, <laughs> so we just got to spread it along top, <laughs> mess Henry's nice work up. So we'll have pea soup to me. <laughs> you just put a handful on each. <laughs> <laughs> carry on there. Yeah. I'd rather put it at bottom now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting it bottom up. Just mix it in. There you go. Look at that. Look at that farmer jar. <laughs> ah, so that's full of chicken manure now. Loads in there. We'll mix all that in and then pop them peas in. Right, dippers. Right. Uh, dibber. <laughs> <laughs> Henry's got a dibber. Thank you. And I've got a dibber. I'm going to dip some holes in there and then drop them peas in. Not rocket sciences in Henry. <laughs> oh, he's making it look hard. <laughs> there you go. Full of peas now, four gutters. Just whacked them in. We don't know how many is in. Right. 211 was there something. <laughs> All right. So he's just go. Put some compost on top and then go we'll find some net from somewhere. I think I've got some behind the yet. Uh, and then I'll put some net over so meesey mice don't get them. Yes. And make a label because I've just bought some off can. Okay. You're right, brew time. Yeah, they need going in a bag. That's all our tobacco seeds from last year. So our seed pods. They need going in a bag. What we've done, we put a piece of net on. I've just got from behind the yet. And. Uh, some spur bits of glass just on top, mainly if I keep my suit, but it, good idea, Henry. <laughs> Second top tip, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Said it'll be like a little greenhouse as well, so he's right. Good, good tip, that. Can't call it a top tip. Brew. It was a good tip. Yeah, I'm going have a brew. <laughs> oh, no, guess what Henry's having for tea? Pea soup. Because <laughs> we've got loads left. <laughs> So Henry and I was having pea soup. Uh, next job, salt and puffs. Too, yeah, they're all coming out. Eat. I'm on my salt in these puffs now. So all I've got is uh, a milk bottle with some holes punched in, and a bag of that salt just fits in it. So I've used one, gone all round there, down them beds. I've just got to go down here now, so it's just a natural weed killer salt. I'll do this once a month, they all them there, they'll be brown tomorrow. Don't even need to pick them up. It'll just kill everything around there. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't want weeds. Give it a salt cellar. Saves your work later on it here. So I've done up to here. There you go. So I've got down that path, up them two paths there. 
I've done down here. I've got that little one in the middle there, D. Done that one, done that one, and I've done up to here. So them other two bags will do me around this end here. And these paths in between here as well. This one mulch. So I'll get them done. Bang! That's kettle on. Now I've got rid of them. Four bags. 75 pence each them, so that's uh, three quid it's just cost me. But I've done all my paths all the way around. From there. All the way down. Right back here. That way. So that should last about a month from now. Hopefully. But what I'll do, I'll just do it once a month. I'll keep on top of that then. Because I did that last year and uh, kept them down. So all we've got to concentrate then on beds. Make sure we weed some beds every day we're up. And uh, we should keep on top of it. Once plants are in, a lovely day today. So that's all them salted, kettle on, peas in. Them spuds are in, they just need topping up with that bag of compost there. This one, I'll sort them out in a bit. And we can plant them tomorrow. Oh, it's gonna be raining tomorrow, I might get them in today. What have I got left? Early as we want. Early, early, early. First, uh, got a rocket in. Oh, Charlotte's. So we'll have them Charlotte's in that, in them tubs there. And then I don't know if these are first or second, but they're going in anywhere. Pink fur and them two main crops. Maris Parper and King Eddie's, I think, aren't they? So, but Henry got them in yesterday, I think, to lure in. What he did, he put some chicken manure at the bottom and uh, dropped his spuds in and then topped them off. And they just need topping off of that one bag. So I'll do that in a minute while the kettle is boiling. And then I'll saw them buckets out there and get them planted. Right. Brew with a fag and I'm off home. We'll see them plants are at home now. Just had a bit of a tidy up. We're full rubbish bag there now. Uh, it's all nice and tidy now. That's not a bad is, what's that? Murder Henry. Bag full of plastic bags. I'll move them in a minute. Yeah, we've got a bit of tidy up around here. Salt a bit in. Shifted that table over there and uh, get round here. He's in there, I might put that there. And that corner right up there. In fact, I will do that now. Just gives these. Uh, Brassic is a good water because we're inside and it's pretty warm in here, I tell you. I've got a thermometer for here, I don't know what it is. At least you'll be opening soon. But because uh, they're inside, they dry out pretty quick because they've got big plants now. So every day, they need a water. At least once a day. And look at that one, look. That's because of no water, that. So they keep it on top of this water and every day. Right, done them. Put that back in. Put Joe the there. So you can welcome everybody in. Nice and tidy everywhere. Sorted. Well, there's that. We have got some comfrey. Got some comfrey in bottles, and I think. I'm not my stick, oh, yes. Ooh. Oh, I've got some in there as well. So we'll get that out this week and put it in that. 
Where the fuck pumpkin? Right. Finally I've got bruise. Oh, can I like it again? It's looking belt in that new turbine. Runa fag. Right. We just spent an hour sorting them all out. And uh They're all there in the glory. I've got six leafers, three giant pumpkins, four giant anti tomatoes, five giant tomatoes. I can't remember what all these are, but they're all uh, different tomatoes. I've got three or four of each. Uh, them's uh, three, but I don't know what they are. So I'm going to have to have a look on my videos. Before I pot them up, and that's just a spur bed and spring onions, and there's some in there as well. So, all looking brilliant, belting in there. Just spent a lovely hour in there with that uh, nice grass floor. And it's lovely and warm in there. You don't want it, is what is it? What's that again? 18.3 degrees. 17.3 over that side, see? It was a, a degree difference because that eating part's on from that side to this part side. So, at least we know that part's working because the, the thermostat for that is there on the top. So that's what the heat is there. So on the other side, it's only 17.3. Here it's 18.2. So, Right, that's me this time. I'm off. I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Try and get some spuds in. See what we're doing with them, right? See you later.